What's good, guys? Medical Gamer over here with my brand new laptop, bringing you a new LP. It's going to be Pokemon Blaze Black 2 Nuzlocke. Woo! <laughs> that would be the guy that I always call Mike. That was him. Because I am back in college now. So I am in the dorm room, openly recording in front of other people, and I don't mind. I, I really don't mind. So, in, for those of you guys who don't know, Pokemon Blaze Black 2 is a hack made by some guy named Dreano, I believe. Or that might be his alias, his code name, his pet name, his good name, his bad name, I don't know what it is, but it's one of his names. And so, he goes by Dreano, and so, I will be playing as a male, as a boy. Oh, they don't even ask male or female, just a boy or a girl. So, even if I was a man, I can't be a man. So, obviously, we're med. We've done med for a while, so let's stick to men. M not men. I am a man. No, I'm not a man yet. I'm only 19. I'm close to a man, but my name is Med. Yes, that is true. Okay. And my little friend, an older boy. Now, obviously, we're gonna name him Barry. I mean, like, <laughs> there's, there's not even an option over here because in our Pokemon Platinum, Medlock, they were called Barry, and now they're gonna be called Barry again. So I think they're always gonna be Barry because they're always trying to be like the Flash. And yeah, that's awesome. So, by the way, this will not be a Medlock. This is just a normal Nuzlocke. For those of you guys who don't know, a Medlock is basically a Nuzlocke with some extra rules, including, uh, like, you can't use any healing items throughout the, throughout the game, like potions and full heals and antidotes and whatever, whatever it is you want to use, you can't use it. Yeah, you can't use alcohol either, that's that's illegal. In case you guys didn't know, if you're under 21 in the US, you cannot consume alcohol. And if you're under 18, you should not be using cigarettes either. But if you have to be 19 to smoke cigarettes, and not everywhere in the United States, in fact, I believe less than half of the states have legalized marijuana, I'm actually not sure. I don't know, you guys tell me in the comment section, I really have no idea. That is not gonna be the question of the day though, because that's not a very appropriate question of the day. Because, yeah, because you guys know. So, <laughs> so we're gonna start this. It's just gonna be a regular Nuzlocke because I think it's already hard enough as it is because it is, like I said, the Dreano hack. So the Dreano hack is basically a hack on Pokemon Black 2 that just makes it harder. So all the trainers have higher level Pokemon. We don't have higher level Pokemon and all the good stuff. Oh, I should have done a randomizer, but you know what? Brand new laptop, brand new beginning. I don't feel like going for a uh, randomizer right now and like losing the game right now. But we got med, we got med over here. Oh my god, this laptop is so much better. I wouldn't have been, I don't even think I would have been able to run this game on my old laptop. Uh, do I want to have some Pokemon? Yes, I do. Do I know what a Pokedex is? Of course I do. Yes, it does record. Yes, I do want it. Step two complete. So our mom or whoever this is is giving us a list of tasks to complete. Yes, I know how to open my bag. Like, how do you not know how to open a bag? Like, just think about it. In real life, like, somebody just asks you, Hey, you have a bag on your back. Do you know how to open it? No, I really don't know how to open it. I'm sorry. Alright, well, here's Barry. Aren't any Pokemon trainers. Barry's getting bored. Does, I thought, does Barry not even have a Pokemon? Because we don't have a Pokemon yet. Doesn't, doesn't Barry get a Pokemon when we do? That's usually how the Pokemon games work. I'm not too familiar with uh, Black 2 and White 2. I did play White 2 because I did play White. And that was a long time ago, so I don't really, really remember uh, how, like how the how the game goes, what the storyline is, and all that good stuff. So let's go. I'm taking Barry. Barry's taking me. We're all taking each other. That sounds really weird. That really sounds weird. And I am going to try to figure out where to go. This, this is a trainer school. That is not where we have to go. Not the Pokemon Center. What does Barry want? Wait, I was just in the Pokemon Center. Cool, I wasn't going to the Pokemon Center anyways, but Barry just has to be a know-it-all. So, 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 not over there. Uh, straight up? Are we gonna be straight up with each other? No, we are not gonna be straight up with each other because Barry does not want us to go there. Where? Oh, okay, Barry already got his Pokemon, Never mind. So let's just try all the houses then. I think we're looking for Bianca. Where are you at, Bianca? You up these stairs? No, I don't think Bianca is up here. No, Bianca's not up here. So we're gonna go back. We're gonna go back to the first house. We are going to go back to the first house. And you do that, do that. So, like I said, I am back at school. 
Mike is making weird stuff and I'm back at school and it's it's really nice it's really nice to be back at school you know classes haven't started yet so it's kind of like this beginning period where you're just kind of chilling and just taking like a week to relax you know just do do what you want obviously I'm making videos some people are like going out and maybe being a bit more social but you know I like making videos that is my hobby at least for right now and yeah so I really don't know who Bianca is this is probably really bad I should do my research I should do my research before I start like doing the where is she should I talk to people yes you want to can I talk to Barry uh, yes you have to be really lucky to get a Pokemon thank you Barry thank you for telling me something that I don't need to know and what are you gonna tell me hey there Med oh, okay so this is Barry's house probably seems so stupid to you guys. I bet you the entire first episode is gonna be me just trying to find Bianca. Am I looking for- I don't even know if I'm looking for Bianca or I'm looking for someone else, some rando. Maybe the professor. Yes, Route 19 is their pride. Maybe let's go into the trainer school. Pretty sure it won't let us in there because I think you need to have Pokemon. Yes, okay Barry, I get it. We're not allowed to go. Oh my god. What do you- what do you want? What do you want? Yes. Well, they, Barry just said it just opened. All right. So, I have a week before classes start. Classes for me start the day after Labor Day. And today is the 28th of August. So, Labor Day is on the 6th. So I do have time. Oh, what? What? What is it? Oh, okay, you, you wanna give me a key? I unlocked easy mode. Guys, I unlocked easy mode. I can finally beat the game. I can finally beat the game. Now that I have easy mode, otherwise there's no way I'd even be able to. You know, this game is just way too hard. Alright, infrared communication. I don't think that my laptop has infrared communication. It might have ultraviolet, but I'm not entirely sure. Oh, we also get challenge mode. We also get challenge mode. It's lit. It's lit over here. It's a party. It is a party. <laughs> and, and yeah, so what else do I have to tell you guys about college? Yeah, so I'm all moved in into my new room. Uh, same building as last year, just a different floor, so not nothing too crazy, nothing too different. How many keys is this person gonna give us? We are unlocking Black City with a red key, may I add? With a red key. I don't know why, but <laughs> Mike's excited. Mike is excited. Tree Hollow Key. Huzzah, they depart. Wow, was Bianca up here the entire time? Are you kidding me? I needed to get those three keys. Yes, Barry, you get it. You get it. I get it. We get it. We all do. Of course we get it now that we found her. Oh, am I moving? Oh, wow. I wasn't on autopilot. I was actually moving. Question mark. It's so pretty. As if we don't know who this is. Yep. You are the assistant of... Yes. I do... Do I know a person named Ed? Of course I know a person named Ed. I... Did, did she just say... Oh, she wasn't acting ladylike or we have to act ladylike. Oh, well, okay, so Bianca says, okay, so we get to pick a Pokemon. Guys, who do I pick? Who do I pick? I don't know. I think I'm going to just pick my own for right now. Maybe the next Let's Play, I'll have you guys pick it for me. Because I'm starting to get a few more comments on the videos, but I still don't think I get enough uh, for someone to actually pick my starter. So Snivy is the grass Pokemon. Snivy reminds me of Mary Jane. If you guys don't know, Mary Jane was the Badoo from the Let's Play of Pokemon Platinum Bedlock. We got Tepig, which is a fire Pokemon. It's a fire pig, and who doesn't like fire pig? Spider Pig from The Simpsons, he's awesome. And we got Oshawott the... What is Oshawott? Oh, is Oshawott a... Oh my god, what is that? Oh shoot, sorry, sorry my... Oh, just kidding, you guys didn't hear that because I'm using a separate mic this time. It's not the mic for my Apple headphones. Oh my god, what is Oshawa? No, Oshawa's a seal? Is Oshawa a seal? No. Oh my otter! Oshawa is an otter! Oh my god. Okay, so in in uh Black 2 and White 2, I always start out with Oshawa. So I think this time, I think this time, because in the beginning of the in the beginning of this episode, we, we were talking a little a little bit of stuff, and so that reminded me of Mary Jane, and I'm gonna go with the grass type Snivy. I've never used Snivy, I've used Oshawa before, and I believe I used Tepig once, but I never used Snivy. So, 
yes, we do want to name it because that's one of the requirements. And it is a male. It is a male. But I think I want to still go... I think I still want to go with Mary Jane. I think I still want to do that, but... But I don't know. I think Mary Jane is, is sacred and should be saved for the Badoo. So let's think of a grass snake Pokemon. So what... What could a grass... Grass snake Pokemon be? Uh... Hmm. You know what? Our Onyx are... Oh my god. I think I, I, have the perfect, <laughs> I have the perfect thing to name this. To name this. So there's this video uh, on YouTube. I don't know if you guys know, but there's a video where it's basically... Basically, it's just a bunch of badgers that show up. And the song goes like, Badger, 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 badger. And it just keeps saying that. And then mushrooms come. And then finally, finally, Snake comes. <laughs> so I'm gonna name this Snivy Snake. You guys have to watch that video. It's hilarious. It's a great video. It's literally just like these like clip art, like poorly done badgers. And then a really poorly done mushroom shows up when they say mushroom. And then this snake comes out of nowhere and it just like shows up on the screen. It's hilarious when they say snake, honestly. Watch it, please guys. Please watch it. So, Barry sees, Barry sees that we have a Pokemon, and you know what, you know what, I think, I think that, uh, for the snake video, or the badger video, I guess, I'll put a link in the description, and you guys can watch it, uh, definitely in the description, you guys let me know what you think of it in the comment section. I don't know, there's some videos that I just find hilarious that other people really don't find hilarious. Like, there's these Scott Sterling videos that no one, like, so many people in my college <gasps> dorm, so many people in my college dorm, when I played that, uh, when I played that, oh, sorry, I, 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 yes, 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 I will have a Pokemon, oh my god, sorry, I, I get a little riled up when I have to, like, when people repeat themselves. So anyways, there's a Tepic, but going back to Scott Sterling, he's basically this guy, and in the videos, I can also link that in the description if you guys want. But basically, there's this guy named Scott Sterling, and he's on a bunch of different sports teams like soccer and volleyball, and it's basically him just getting repeatedly injured in the face. It's hilarious. Like, it, it's just, you have a good time. You have a good time when you're watching that. Like, I, I don't know how, how else I can describe it. And by the way, I hope you guys like the, the graphics for this game. I, I put, um, a little bit of a filter on it to try to make the graphics better now that this laptop can handle a game like this like honestly the Mac could barely handle the Pokemon Platinum so wow I think we might actually lose I okay they went for the tail whip I think we just have to keep going for the <gasps> I have contrary I have contrary are you serious oh my god I have contrary they just raised my defense that's hilarious that's amazing. I didn't realize that in this hack, um, the Pokemon get all their special, like, their hidden abilities. That is awesome. I'm a plus two defense now, so I don't think I lost anymore. I think I'm gonna win. That was, oh my god. I was like, why is the animation for going down, the animation for going up? Then I was like, oh my god, superior, hidden power, gets, contra gets contra contrary. It's a crit. That doesn't matter. Uh, and it's not hidden power, it's actually hidden ability. But you guys get the point. So we get 94 XP. And we're gonna grow to level six. Snake is gonna grow to level six. And we're really close to level seven, but not there yet. Not quite there yet. So we did get 500 Poke Dollars. Poke Dollars. And I wish it was 500 real dollars, but. You know, I wonder. I wonder, like, how much money you can make if you were a Pokemon trainer in, like, real life. If Pokemon really existed. Like, on average, how much US dollars or whatever currency you guys use, how much real money would be in the game? Oh my god, dude, you, you can just like make it rain, like just get some OP, like literally just grind up your Pokemon in, in like the grass, and then just go battle every single trainer you can find, and you literally make bank, you will make bank. Alright, so they're taking my Pokeball, you know one thing I never understood either about Pokemon, is um, when you go to Pokemon Center, how can you trust them to just heal up your Pokemon, like how do you know what they're gonna do to your Pokemon? They can literally do whatever they want to with your Pokemon. And, you know, some things... I don't even know. What if they, like, poison your Pokemon or paralyze your Pokemon? We got Pokeballs. That means that the Nuzlocke has officially started.
because, oh, okay, just kidding, Bianca needs to show us because obviously this is the first time we're playing Pokemon and we don't know how to catch Pokemon. So Bianca's gonna take us into the grass. Oh, okay, um, there are two people. Hee <laughs> hee, I am looking good. They're flirting with me and they're giving me a pair of running shoes. So they literally flirt with me and they give me brand new Nike Elites, which is awesome. And we have to press B in order to use them. They come with instructions to hold B while you're using them. That's awesome. We got a town map. So now we, now we can know where we are, you know? Now we don't have to pay attention to those labels that show up on the top left of our screen when we enter a new area. So people are making Bianca happy. I wish... I wish that uh, they could make me happy, but they can't. So bon voyage, and they're leaving, we're leaving. Oh my God, the game is so much faster with running shoes. We're gonna head up to Route 19. I think that, oh, yes, I can't go, oh, okay. Um, how did they know that I had a Pokemon if our Pokemon is in our bag? I'm not sure. And how do they know that I, I wasn't supposed to have a Pokemon? Have I gone there multiple times and like they've, they've stopped me and detained me just because my skin is whatever color it is in the game and they search, search through my bag? <laughs> that's uh, it's a little bit hateful. Alright, so Bianca is going to get an encounter. This is not our first encounter because obviously we are not catching this Pokemon because Bianca is catching it. So they got a little pup. They're going to click fight. Oh, look at that pointer. That's a nice hand. That's like master hand, you know? Pointing on that screen, touching that screen, getting up in that screen, and <laughs> the pearly is gonna go for the growl. And Lillipup's attack is lowered, but it ain't matter. No, it don't matter. Eight that eight is not proper in that sentence. Oh my god. Forgive me, forgive me. Forgive me guys. You can chastise me later. Hey, <laughs> vocab words, chastise. Alright, so Perlin was caught. Is it pearly? No, it's purloin. Like loin, like loincloth, like coin, but with an L. Exactly. Okay. So, healthy Pokemon. They gotta be nice and healthy. They gotta eat right. They gotta exercise. They gotta be on that diet and be healthy. So, next next town is Flossy Town? Floxy Town? I don't know. I'm gonna be flossing my teeth tonight. I don't know about you guys. Alright, so I think that we're gonna get our first encounter and we're gonna end the episode off after that. So, let's, let's get our first encounter. Let us get our first encounter. Who is it? It is a Starly. Perfect. That is awesome. We start out with a flying type right off the bat. Right off the bat. The baseball bat. Alex Jeter. Just kidding. Derek Jeter. And Alex Rodriguez. I don't even think they play anymore. And it's going to do a decent amount of damage. But we ain't going to kill it. So we can go for one more. We can go for one more. And... Oh! Oh, that's scary. That was scary. That was V scary. V being very... Very scary. I just noticed we get 30 Pokeballs. That's a lot of Pokeballs. I guess it's for the hack. Uh, normally you probably only get five or 10 Pokeballs. Two shakes, three shakes. We got all three shakes. We got the three stars and we got it. So what are we gonna name this thing? Oh God, okay. So Starly is the Starling. Oh wait, I know what to name it. We're naming it Palmer, Ray Palmer. We had a Starly in uh, Pokemon Platinum. So we got Palmer. By the way, uh, I'll explain the reference again. So in Arrow, the TV show, which is based on the superhero Green Arrow, there is someone, so there was Starling City and Ray Palmer wanted to rename Starling City, Star City. Ray Palmer is basically like this rich guy and he develops like a super suit and he becomes the Atom. The Atom is a, is a new superhero, or not a new superhero, but a new superhero in the show at the time. And so his name is Ray Palmer and he wanted to rename Starling City, Star City. And apparently he quote unquote died. There are gonna be spoilers right here. If you guys don't wanna hear spoilers, please just mute it for like less than a minute, 20 seconds. And so he doesn't actually die, but he claims he fakes his death. He fakes his death. And um, yeah, so then they, they wanna rename it uh, Star City. They rename it Star City after he dies just to honor him. Uh, no, I don't wanna rest again. I'm sorry, I just wasn't paying attention. And so, yeah, it goes from Starling City to Star City because of Ray Palmer and because Starly is the star Pokemon, we're gonna name it Palmer. 
that that's the whole backstory. So let's let's switch Palmer. Actually, you know what? Let's not snake get some XP before we we hand it off to Palmer. But yeah, I think that this is pretty good. It's around the 20 minute mark. This might be one of the I don't know. You guys tell me what length you guys like for the episodes. This might be a shorter episode. This could be a longer episode depending on what you guys want. But I'm gonna end the episode off here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up down below. I know Mike is. <laughs> Subscribe if you if you guys enjoyed it. And yeah, leave a comment answering question of the day or whatever it is you guys want to tell me. Anything. I don't care. You tell me. And I'm gonna get out of here. Peace. Little.